Hi everybody, in this video I'll answer the question in what order you should complete the Try Hack Me learning paths as a complete beginner. Now I've already made a video answering this question before and the reason I'm making it again is because I want an updated version of this video since Try Hack Me has now released a new path called Red Teaming that we can see right here. Now, like I mentioned in the first version of this video, is that one thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to complete all of the paths. Maybe you already have some experience and fundamental knowledge about IT, cybersecurity, etc. So it might not be necessary for you to do the beginner paths that cover the fundamentals. So uh, you can jump straight to the more challenging paths. Or maybe you have a desire to work in a certain field and have zero desire to work in another field in cybersecurity. And I'll use the example I used in the first version of this video. Let's say you have no intention in getting into defensive security. Then maybe you can skip the cyber defense path. You see what I'm saying? But let's say you are a complete beginner and you know so little about cybersecurity that you would like to complete all of the paths and later decide what field to learn more about. Then this video can hopefully point you in the right direction. So if you are a complete beginner, this is what I think is the right order to complete the learning paths here on Try Hack Me. So first you can begin with the introduction to cybersecurity path, then pre-security path, then the complete beginner path, then web fundamentals path, then junior penetration tester path, then offensive pen testing path, then red teaming path, then cyber defense path, and finally CompTIA pen test plus path. Again, this is just my opinion. If you happen to disagree, please tell me in the comment section what you think is the right order to complete the learning paths and why. I would love to hear your opinion. And now, if we take a closer look, we can also see that the order that I think is the right way to complete the paths is by completing the easy ones first and then moving on to the intermediate paths. And as I mentioned in the first version of this video, I know that the CompTIA Pentest Plus path has the easy difficulty level but comes after the intermediate paths on my list. But that is because by the time you get to the CompTIA Pentest Plus path, you've already finished it because almost all of the rooms in this path are in several of the previous paths. And there are actually several paths that share the same rooms. So if you are new to Try Hack Me or been here for a while and just haven't noticed, now you know that. Hopefully, if you are a complete beginner and you don't know where to begin, this video helped you figure that out. If you did and you found the video helpful, and of course, if you are one of those people that is not a beginner but agrees with me, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe for more Try Hack Me videos. See you next time.